Hello beautiful people of YouTube. This is going to be another products I used up and products I regret buying video. So let's just get started. Okay, so I used up two more of my Christmassy um, Bath and Body Works holiday scents. The Vanilla Bean Noel, which is the last one. And the Ice Gingerbread. Um, and I have one more left and I'm almost done with it. So. Vanilla Bean Noel is my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. But let's see, the ice gingerbread says, let's see, do, 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 do. gentle foaming hand soap is enriched with an exclusive blend of moisturizing honey, coconut milk, and olive fruit extracts to help nourish and soften skin. It is further enhanced with, get down. It is further enhanced with the mango fruit extract, leaving hands lightly scented, gently cleansed, and conditioned while effectively fighting germs. And this smells just like a gingerbread cookie. Oh, it's so amazing. So I use that. Up. And this one is my favorite. And I'm currently using the, um, the lotion because I have to use that up. So let's see, this one says, Gentle foaming hand soap is enriched with an exclusive blend of mer mer moisturizing honey, coconut milk, and olive fruit extracts to help nourish and soften skin. It is further enhanced with mango fruit extract, leaving hands lightly scented, gently cleansed and conditioned while effectively fighting germs. My favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. Get down. Okay. Another thing I finally used up is the Philosophy Snow Angel Body Wash. Um, shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I don't use it as a shampoo. I use it as a shower gel and a bubble bath, and I will definitely repurchase. Oh, and I will re repurchase those soaps in the uh, Christmas season again. But I got this around Christmas, and I just finished it up. This stuff smells amazing and it says philosophy snow angels come to call during the happiest season of all the warmth of their glow and joyful sound bring love and peace to those around snow angels sprinkle sweetly fallen snow from the night sky as they hover in the clouds watching over you and I their kiss so sweet their hearts filled with joy they bring holiday cheer to every girl and boy sweetly fallen snow so I will definitely repurchase this because but it took me a long time to use that sucker up. Next, I used up my favorite body butter from Body Shop and it is the, which one is this? I forget which one this is. Um, Shea Body Butter. Oh, I could still smell it, but I scraped this baby down to the nitty gritty. Oh, it's my favorite one. Did I just get some on my nose? <laughs> it's my favorite one and I ran out, so I have to go and order another one. But I love that and I will repurchase that. I have repurchased it so much, it's not even funny. Um, I finally finished up my two samples of these perfumes by Marc Jacobs. And the first one is Marc Jacobs Honey, which I don't care for. But this one is my favorite, and I will repurchase the big size of it. It is Marc Jacobs Daisy. So I'm going to go get the big size of that because I love that set. And then I used up these two samples of the Philosophy Full of Promise Dual Acting Restoring Cream for Volume and Lift. And I did like this. I love this. So I will repurchase that. And then I finished up the, a sample of the Philosophy, Philosophy Purity Made Simple 3-in-1 Cleanser for Face and Eyes. Um, I'm probably going to purchase the, not the full size, but the smaller size, the travel size of it, because I like my Neutrogena Pore Refining Cleanser. That is like my Holy Grail Cleanser, but I like this too. It feels really good, so I might purchase just the small size and continue to use my Neutrogena because it has really, speaking of Neutrogena, I finished up another um, Neutrogena Pore Refining Exfoliating Cleanser, visibly reduces the appearance of pores and refined skin. This shit 
is a miracle in a freaking whatever you call this thing tube I have purchased so many of these and I will continue to repurchase them I have one on my in my sink right now and one in my shower which is almost done so I have purchased so many of these and I will continue to until the day I die my holy grail I suggest you pick this up because it does get rid of your pores I use it morning and night along with my hydroxytone oh my god I'm telling you it changes your skin and then I finished up this is another thing I use in my skincare system is the philosophy take deep breaths gel moisturizer and I scrub that baby down I purchased this so many times as well you've probably seen these in a lot of my products I've used up so it says philosophy environmental factors such as sun smog and pollution can cloud a complexion revitalize your spirit and your skin with a quiet moment and a deep breath oil free energizing oxygen gel cream moisturizer um, lightweight gel cream hydrator helps diffuse energizing oxygen to the skin as needed for a healthy looking glow enriched with a blend of antioxidants to help protect skin from environmental attack oil free formula leaves skin feeling smooth refreshed and comfortable this is a part of my skincare routine as well and this is the best moisturizer I have ever used and I will continue to repurchase it till the day I die as well yeah okay another thing I finished up is the Neutrogena um, makeup remover cleansing towelettes the ultra soft cloths the, in the blue pack these are better than the ones in the purple in my opinion um, but I have finished I've used so many of these and I will continue to repurchase those as well to the day I die yeah and last thing that I finished up is this little baby sample of the it cosmetics bye bye pores it's so cute look how cute it is look at that look how tiny it is now Jackie St. Germain if you're watching I have the bigger size of this which I'm I told you I was gonna make a video on all my it cosmetics stuff but I had to finish this little bad boy up and this is amazing under that it cosmetics um, concealer corrector and just to set your whole make your whole face after you put on your makeup holy bejesus yeah I just said holy bejesus okay now on to some products I regret buying is this Neutrogena pore refining toner Okay, I thought it was going to be like the cleanser and be a good toner. This shit, I used it up, but I regret buying it and I will not repurchase it. I think I'm going to get the alcohol free one. Um, it stings and it was making my skin very red. So I don't suggest picking this up if you have sensitive skin, especially because it will literally tear your face off. Yeah, literally. Okay, another thing I regret buying is this Tarte Multiply Prime Lash Enhancing Primer. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's just a white. It sucks. I haven't even used it. Uh, I used it like two times and it sucks. So I don't suggest getting this. And I'm glad I'll be throwing that away. Next is a brush from e.l.f. And it's the Professional Lip Defining Brush. This thing sucks. I got the Real Techniques one. I'm loving that. So I regret buying that. Okay. Last three things are these Sally Hansen nail art pens. I got one in white, black, and red. Now, they were good when I first used them. Okay, I, I like the packaging, it's got little flowers on it, but after like three or four times that I used them, they just, you couldn't paint any designs on your nails, it would take forever to get it on there, and then if you push too hard, it would go all over the place, and I mean, I've put decorations on my nails like pumpkins and hearts, but they did not come out good, so... I regret buying these and I do not suggest you pick these up go to like um, Sally's and pick up the the ones with the thin 
you know what I'm talking about, those ones, because those are better. So, anyway, that's the end of my products I have used up and products I regret buying. Hope you all enjoyed and hope you have a good night.